<clears throat> Alright, I'm doing another live commentary here on the Destiny beta build. My name is Evan, and we're about to go into orbit, back to Russia, about to leave the tower, Tower Plaza. I hope there's at least one really big boss battle. I've already fought a couple like kind of mini bosses I feel like, but I'd like to see a big boss battle in this beta. So it looks like we're going over here. The last array. Track down codes to raise an ancient array and connect it to long lost colonies throughout the solar system. Okay. You have to get to a higher level to unlock a higher difficulty for these missions, so I'm just playing on normal. That's your ship. I don't know if you can ever, like... I mean, it's kind of cool that you have a ship, but it has no purpose. ...had codes to a hidden array that could reconnect us to other colonies in the system. If we can find their ghosts, maybe we can open that array. Uh, I mean, yeah, it has a purpose, obviously, you go in between planets, but you don't ever, like, fly the ship or anything, but maybe I'm wrong, it'd be cool if they had a little part of the game where you're actually in a space we fight or something. From near the Skywatch. Let's head there and see if we can find them. Alright, so we're going up to that building there. The Skywatch. Get some details. For the ghost holding the codes, okay. The sky in this game is beautiful. Everything about it does such a good job. Combat is pretty fun. It feels a lot like Halo, but like better, kind of just newer, you know. Halo, but new generation. Different too, because you're going to have a bunch of different. There's a bunch of different play styles with all the different classes. I am a hunter, so. Um, I'm good at range and. My special ability that I have right now is I pull out this golden pistol and it's just like a one shot and like disintegrates people but you only have like three shots with it and then it and then it just disappears. But I ran past those enemies. You can see a couple other players there on the horizon, both level fives. I'm gonna see if there's anything up this road here before I go straight up to the Skywatch. Yeah, the skyline is just gorgeous, really. It's such a good job. There's a little bit of lag here and there, but it's a beta, so what can you expect? Everybody, literally everybody's playing this. The PlayStation Store today just crashed and burned for like a good hour or two before I could get this game up and going. The AI in this game are pretty smart. They're always taking cover. Alright, so I got my supercharged. That's my uh, golden pistol that I was talking about. I'll show that off here in a second. You don't want to waste it though. It takes a long time to recharge. I think as you kill more enemies, it might recharge faster. I'm learning, but I don't know for sure about that. Make sure I'm going the right way. Heading back through that hive breeding ground. The Vanguard say they're spilling onto the surface now, keeping the fallen busy. Alright, going into a breeding ground. Ew. You can hear sliminess. These pus. Gross. Little spores. 
your flashlight just turns on there automatically. Oh, okay. I just played through a part like this. These crazy little zombie things. They're like humans just running at you. They're all gross and infected. They run in a big swarm. I don't know if those are good guys or bad guys. Are these all good guys? All bad guys? Got a flame grenade. Pretty effective. These guys are pretty weak. Shouldn't have much trouble with them. Sniper feels a lot like Halo as well. At least this sniper is starting one I got. Let me see real quick if I have something else. It's just kind of risky because I think the game isn't... This game is weird. You can't ever really pause it. You have to be in a safe area. Upgrade. I can upgrade my armor. What the hell? Nice. I can also get another upgrade over here. Throw a knife from a distance. Sweet. Don't know how to throw my knife, but... I don't know what that is. Alright, um... Trading out some, some, uh, armor here. Can't wait till I can use that cloak. Equipment. I'll show you my, uh, little vehicle here in a minute. Is it my double supercharged or something? Oh shit. Alright, I'll show you my pistol now. That first guy I was attacking was pretty strong and I shot him like right in the way so it didn't do much the first time. But it basically is like a one shot for most enemies. I hope you had tight spots. The ghost. They're in a clearing between buildings not far from here. Okay.
See if there's any ammo lying around or anything. Back outside. The ghosts are still here. The fallen have them. I got popped out of nowhere. It's dead. Keep hunting. The hunt is on. Got a little uh, jump boost, pretty cool. How can I throw nice now? Oh, nice. I wonder how many of those I have. Not many, only one. <laughs> oh, well, I have to get down. Oh, what a headshot. Can't touch this. Nothing. Find another one. There's a level 7 over there. Oh damn. Oh, nice man. Just took that guy out for me. Check these ghosts out. Dead ghosts, dead ghosts. Let's find the array. Get out of here. Holy shit. Maybe taking that thing head on isn't smart. Oh, sweet. That knife throw is pretty cool. Alright, where am I supposed to go? We gotta continue on. I only got 15 minutes per uh, video segment, so gotta be speedy. Must like regenerate your knife over time. I'm guessing. Drop down. Um, yep. The darkness is growing stronger. We have to finish this. The array control station is in the next sector. The dark side of the force. I know there's some creepy crawlies down here. <laughs> 